Good morning, everyone. Wow, I'm going to be super honest. For the last couple of weeks, my nights have been looking like this sitting on the couch, watching Netflix, chilling on my phone, sleeping way past my bedtime, watching Korean dramas, a lot of Korean dramas, crying my eyes out over Korean dramas, laughing my eyes out over Korean dramas, while my mornings have been looking like this. Trying to wake up at 5 a.m., but then snooze. 6 a.m., snooze. 7 a.m., snooze. I've been very tired, and so it was finally time for me to become much more productive. I'm usually really good at waking up at 5 a.m. without snoozing. The problem is that I haven't been sleeping early enough, but I know how to fix it. So here's my productive 5 a.m. morning routine after not waking up at 5 a.m. for a while. The night before, I tried to sleep earlier, but I knew my body wouldn't be used to it since I haven't in a while. I turned on a diffuser with a scent that fights off germs. And I tried to relax my body. I started thinking about things that I'm thankful for and that way, I can usually fall asleep in less than 10 minutes. Now it's 5 a.m. I try not to give in to looking at my phone for the first 15 minutes. Right now, I'm reading through Proverbs in the Bible, and I've matched the chapter to the date. For example, on the 19th, I'll read chapter 19. I also have been practicing sitting up straight and not slouching in my bed. One of the things I like to remind myself every morning is that if the only thing God ever did for me was save me through his son Jesus, and I get to go to heaven because of that, that should be more than enough for me. So in the mornings, I like to start off by writing in my journal and reading my Bible, and then just jotting down anything that I feel like God is teaching me today. Putting your phone face down is a great habit. I found that I'm much more productive in the morning when I don't look through my phone. Something else I try to do in the morning is set goals for my day on a post-it note. Research shows that having concrete goals is correlated with huge increases in confidence and feelings of control. Setting goals specific to the day puts everything into motion. Narrow your goals down to a few achievable ones that can easily be broken down into steps. Vague goals such as, I want to finish writing my paper, are counterproductive because you're not including how you're going to do it. Instead, you should say, I am going to finish my paper by writing three more paragraphs, spending no more than an hour on each section. Now you have a way to achieve your goals. Writing a to-do list and a goals list also ensures that you don't forget to do anything for your day. One of the things that never changes about me is making my bed right when I'm ready to officially start my day. I don't walk away from my messes, I try to take care of it right away. I believe that trickles into other parts of our lives too. Something new I have in my bathroom are my four affirmations. These four affirmations are things that remind me of who I am because of who God says I am. I know it may sound silly, but I say them to myself every morning. It almost becomes a habit for me to think about these words in my heart. I always set my clothes out the night before so that it cuts down a step in the morning. I clean my retainers that I still wear after 10 years, and then I brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush and then rinse my face to really wake me up. Good morning! So I always lay out my workout clothes the night before just so I can just throw them on and then go to my workout. But it's too cold, I need a sweater. 
clearly getting dressed is a struggle for me at 5 in the morning. How I'm feeling right now is that I feel like I should be going to the airport because I just remember always feeling this way when you gotta travel and yeah, I mean, I've been waking up around 6 or 7 but this extra hour earlier is definitely messing with my sinuses. I know I'm gonna love it and I always plan a workout first thing in the morning because it holds me accountable and it forces me to wake up because I have booked a workout and I also invite my friends to come with me just so there's this extra form of accountability that I have to go. So I packed my work clothes and my makeup bag in my backpack and then we will be on our way. Oh, I need socks. My roommate is still sleeping, but I am going to pack my lunch. In the kitchen, I grab a cold cup of water because it's always great to hydrate your body first thing in the morning. Alrighty, it's smoothie time with Maya. Today I'm going to add almond milk, which is really what I use all the time. I also have a video on how I make my own almond milk, although I ran out, so today I'm using store-bought almond milk. I use a ton of dragon fruit, which I usually get from Target or Sprouts. And then I add a few scoops of vegan chocolate protein and a little bit of vanilla protein as well. Hemp seeds also offer extra protein and healthy fats, and as you can see, I don't measure anything. It takes me about 10 seconds to blend it and then wash my blender. Whenever I'm going straight to my workout, I'll pour my smoothie into a hydro flask because it keeps it from oxidizing and tasting funky, plus it keeps it cold. My friend and I are going to work out together before I teach all day long. My workout is about 25 minutes away and then it takes me another 25 minutes to get to work. Having a friend wake up with you at 5 a.m. is so helpful because that offers physical accountability and that is so important. I love workout studios that offer full amenities because I get to shower before work without bringing my entire bathroom products with me. I think I only blow dry my hair twice a year. I always just let it towel dry and then I let it be. I feel so good after my workout but that was also really tiring. <laughs> My friend and I also decided to get Starbucks today because we have a long day of teaching ahead. I usually get a matcha green tea latte with soy milk, but today I decided to get an iced guava white tea with no sweetener. And then I also get their classic oatmeal for breakfast. I add pomegranate fizz and mind health to my drink, but it honestly tastes good without these things too. Oh my goodness, my classroom is 54 degrees. That's too cold. So I have my smoothie, my oatmeal, my drink, and I am ready for the day. Thank you so much for spending your morning with me. I really appreciate it, you guys. And I love doing morning routines, but let me know in the comments below what else you wanna see. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.